Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to see few basic commands that will help you get started in Linux. So these are the very basic commands and very important commands that will be helpful in working with Linux. So let's get started. Now here what we'll be doing is we'll be going through a list of commands that will be very helpful in working with Linux. So these are not the most advanced commands but these are the commands that will get you started in working with day to day usage and you can learn more commands once you get the grab on all of this. So let me open the command prompt over here and the first command we will see today is the ls command is to list the files. So in day to day we will be using these commands to list the files which are available into a particular directory or into a particular location. To list those all the files the ls command has been used. So if you just type ls over here in the terminal and hit enter you can see that it will list all the files and folders or directories available in that particular location which you are already there. Suppose you want to find the files and directories available into any particular folder. So for that what you can do is considering you want to see the folders available inside this documents folder. Okay so what you will do ls space you will give documents. So it starts with capital D so you will give capital D O and if you hit tab then it will auto complete the name. Okay and if you hit enter you can see that it will show you the files or folders available into that particular directory. So in documents directory there is a temp directory available. Now I will show you a very important thing to learn any commands in Linux you need to go through the help section or manual section of that particular command that will give you a vast information about that particular command and how we can use that particular command. There will be different flags available for that particular command so we can mix and match those flags and the particular commands to get the results what we want. So for this ls command if you see ls space hyphen hyphen help and if you see here you can see that the entire help is available for that particular command. The different flags available what this command does okay how to use this particular command and all those information. So this help section will be available in all the Linux commands either it will be in hyphen hyphen help or using the man command you can get the information help information over here. So let me clear it out the screen. To clear the screen the command is clear okay to list the files okay if you see we did ls over here and you can see that we got the information documents home pictures videos this way but if you want in a long list format with all the other details available then the command is ls space hyphen l for the long listing and if you give a over here then it will bring all the hidden file as well so you can see that we got the all files this dot is the current directory this is the previous directory and you can see that these are all the hidden files starting with dot. So we'll get all the informations over here the name of the file the date it was modified the owner details the size details and everything. So this is a long list format of the ls command. So this way you can list the files available into a particular directory. Now the next command is cd command that is a change directory. So if you want to go inside a particular directory to list the files or do any of the operations then the command is cd. So suppose you want to go inside a documents folder over here then the command is cd space and you need to write documents d o and if you hit tab over here then it will be auto completed. So the name you give over here is case sensitive okay. So small d and capital D are different and whenever you give a character over here and there are multiple folders that starts with the same character or same string that you have provided then when you hit double tab over there then it will show a list of folders or list of applicable folders that is available and you can choose from them. So make sure that when you hit tab you give the two or three characters that will give you a unique folder name and if you hit tab then it will auto complete that particular folder. So here you can see that we got the particular folder documents when we hit the cd. So when you hit enter and you can see that we are inside a documents directory now okay and here if we do ls over here you can see that we will directly get what's inside this particular directory. So this cd command is used to change the directory. Now if you want to go back a directory then the command is cd space earlier I showed you that double dot is for the previous directory right and the dot is for the current directory. So if I give cd dot dot over here then it will move to the previous directory. So now I am outside a particular documents directory. Now if I do ls over here you can see that I am outside the documents directory. Suppose I am going inside a pictures directory. So now you can see that I am inside a pictures directory. Now suppose from here I want to go back 
and I want to go inside a videos directory then what I can do is you don't have to do cd dot dot to go back and again a command to cd slash pictures what you can directly do is cd dot dot it will make to the previous directory then slash then what directory you want to go after that after going back you can give pictures okay so this will directly let you into the pictures directory so what we are doing is go one step back and go inside a pictures directory from there so you can see that now i am in the pictures directory so this way you can use a cd command a change directory command to change the directories where you are available now the next command is to see where you are actually at the particular file location so from here you can see that you are somewhere in the pictures folder from the root directory from the home directory but what is that home directory you don't know that right so to get the exact file location of your file system the command is pwd path to working directory so this will give you the current working directory path if you hit enter you can see that my current working directory is slash home slash shabir slash pictures okay so this is my entire path so this way with the pwd command you can get the working directory now the next command is to make a directory okay so to make a directory the command is mkdir which says make directory and then you need to give the name of the directory so consider i am in pictures right now right so inside this pictures directory i want to create a new directory okay so suppose i want to create images okay so this is the directory name that i want to give so i'll give make directory mkdir and space images so this will create images directory over here if i do ls over here you can see that images directory has been created now suppose i am inside this home slash shabir directory and from here i want to create a directory inside a documents folder if you see ls over here i have documents folder and inside this documents folder i want to create a directory so what i can do is mkdir i don't have to go inside a documents directory and then create a new directory from here only what I can do is just give the documents over here and it will understand okay documents directory is already created so I don't have to create after that what is given I have to create a directory so suppose after documents what I gave is create a shabir directory suppose shabir doc okay so this directory will be created inside a documents folder so if I hit enter this document shabir doc will be created if I do ls for documents over here you can see that shabir doc directory is created so this way you can create a directory using the make dir command so suppose i created a shabri doc over here and then i have to remove this directory so what i will do is i'll go inside a particular documents folder here first and inside this document folder if you see i have shabri doc and temp now there will be a scenarios for you to come to delete a particular directory so to delete a particular directory the command is rmdir okay remove directory so here consider i have to remove shabir doc directory so the command would be rmdir space shabir doc okay this command will delete a shabir doc directory for me so you can see that the directory is been deleted if i do ls over here again i have only temp available so now what we saw is to make a directory and to remove a directory now let's see how we can create a file so suppose i am inside a documents folder over here and from here we'll see how to create a file over here inside this document directory there is nothing over here okay only temp folder now to create a file over here what we'll be doing is we'll be using a touch command now the, now touch command is a very magical command okay so if you give any file name for this particular touch command if the file name is existed if file name is there already created then it will just update the timestamp of the particular file else it will create a new file for us so consider i'm creating new file dot txt over here so consider there is no new file available over here new file dot txt so it will create a new file for me if i hit enter and if i do ls over here you can see that new file dot txt is created for me here now there are many other commands also available to create a new file you can use a cat command to create a file and to add the any content to that particular file okay so this is also a majorly used command to create a file but for me it's very easy to use this one you can use either whichever you are comfortable with but if you are new to this linux environment touch is the way to go okay now let's add some content to this new file or txt which we have created okay so generally the developers are used to use a vim editor over here in the linux environment you can use any other okay you can use nano also in if you in your machine if uh, vs code is installed if you are using a graphical user interface then you can use that as well okay any text editor is fine but if you are using a linux environment in a production or a staging environment then there is a high chance that you won't be using a graphical user interface and you will be having a vi editor in your system okay 
so i'll just show you how to use it if you open vi and new file dot txt then this particular interface will be open for you okay and if you hit i to insert the data this you can see here it will be converted to insert now here you can add some data so i'll add some data this is a new file so this vim editor has a lot of functionalities i won't be able to cover everything over here i'm just showing you to add some of the data and to save and quit it okay so it's not a complete tutorial for that yeah what i did i just added some data with the i command now if i hit escape then it will come outside the insert mode and to save it i'll do colon wq and enter so now my file is saved now to see a file okay there are multiple command there is a less command more command cat command if you are monitoring some logs in your uh, server right then you can use a tail command that is a listener that will bring the content whenever the new content is added to that particular file so here what we'll be using is a cat command to see the content of a particular file so if i do cat command and the name of the file then it will display a content of that particular file okay you can see that it is displaying this is a new file now the next command is to copy a file how to copy a file from one location to another location so what we can do is to copy a file the command is cp okay then you need to give source and then you need to give destination so suppose my source is new file dot txt okay this is my source and this i want to add inside a temp directory available okay inside my documents directory over here there is a temp directory and inside that temp directory i want to copy this file okay so what i'll do i'll give temp over here so it will copy new file.txt inside a tmp folder once i hit enter and if i go to temp folder you can see that new file.txt has been copied over here let me go back okay inside documents if i do ls i have new file.txt and a tmp folder over here let me create a new file over here touch a.txt okay so there is a new file created now we saw how to copy a file from one directory to another directory okay now let's see how to move a file okay similar to cp we have a move command that is mv and then we have to give a source and then we have to give a destination so suppose my source is a.txt and my destination is again a tmp folder and if i hit enter you can see that the file has been moved if i do ls over here you can see that the file is not available over here and if i go inside a temp directory and i do ls you can see that a.txt is available over here now to rename a file what you do is you use a move command and you give source and destination a different file name okay so suppose i want to rename a a.txt okay so what i'll do i will use mv command and then space i will give a.txt and i want to rename this file to b.txt so i'll give b.txt over here and if i do ls over here you can see that my a.txt has been changed to b.txt so this is how you rename a particular file how to remove a particular file so to remove a particular file the command is rm so for removing a directory you saw that there was a rmdir command and to remove a particular file there is a command rm so suppose b.txt which we created we want to remove that so what i'll do i'll use rm space b.txt if you do ls over here then you can see that b.txt has been removed so this way you can remove a particular file also so for all these commands if you use a help tag okay like rm command hyphen hyphen help if you see then you will get entire help information for that particular command you can you will be able to get this help from all the commands so i suggest every developer that if you are not aware of any of the commands then you should go through this help section for each and every particular commands and you try to learn how this command is been useful what are the different flags available so we'll get more hands on experience and more knowledge on that particular command linux is very vast guys so i encourage each and every one to go through all these commands and to learn all the commands these are very basic there are lot of advanced commands and if you want me to create a video on all the advanced commands of linux then let me know in the comment section below i'll surely create a one for you guys so that's it in this video if you have any queries or questions then do let me know in the comment section below if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new upcoming videos till then happy coding and i'll see you in the next video